name is Mel and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a lecturer, sports therapist with a background in biomedical sciences and we're going to talk about some of the symptoms of the menopause today, hot flushes and as requested, anxiety. We're going to talk about some ways that you can help to combat them. So let's talk about anxiety first and probably the biggest issue when we're thinking about the menopause. Um, it causes a great deal of stress. So you might think to yourself, okay, I don't understand why I'm feeling as stressed as I am. Well, there are two things. First of all, your body is changing and doing some crazy stuff completely that it feels out of your control. That's the first one. That's enough to cause you stress and anxiety. The second one is that when this is happening, this drop in estrogen, it's literally causing a chemical reaction in your body as your body is trying to deal with whew, that's happened to bring it back to here, to normal balance. And so you end up going into a stress situation that puts everything out of balance and makes everything about your body tired because everything's now running around trying to find a way to get you back to here. And we're going to talk about that. I'm going to talk to you about how we can deal with the anxiety that's caused because of the menopause. But I just want you to understand that it's normal to feel like that. If you weren't feeling anxious, I'd be more worried. It's normal to feel a bit anxious when things are just feeling a bit out of control. It's normal. And we're going to talk about how we're going to deal with that. As you can see, I'm doing an exercise called the Moro Reflex here. The Moro Reflex will help to deal with your anxiety. I'm taking my right leg and putting it over my left leg. I'm taking my left hand, popping it over my right arm, and then I'm folding myself down and slowly opening up, stretching out nice and wide, taking a breath, coming back in and folding down. When I fold down, I'm bringing my left arm over my right side and my left leg over my right leg. Each time I open and fold, I swap over my left and my right. You need to do this exercise five times, morning and evening. Of course, um, why are you doing it? The primitive, your primitive reflex um, is linked to your moro reflex. And this will help to dampen down our fight or flight system that causes us to be anxious and stressed. So it's our first line of defense really against stress. There are other things that you can do. You can exercise any kind, and exercise is my favorite thing to do. You can go for a long walk, you can meditate, you can listen to music or read a book. Anything really that's going to help you to feel relaxed and at ease. So now we're going to talk about hot flushes or whatever you call them. I call them the hots. So in my first video, I spoke in a lot of detail about hot flushes and why and the what's of what's going on in your body. So if you didn't see that, please have a look at the link below um, and that will take you to that first video. But today I want to talk to you about some tips, practical things about how you can deal with them. What do we have in our picnic? Well, we have some damp towels and a flask. Into your flask, you're gonna put loads of ice and then a quarter of water. And then your damp towels, you're gonna to put them into the freezer and then put them into a container, anything that you can find that you can put them in that's gonna keep them cool for you overnight. Whatever you've got, just pop them into that, take it up to bed. When you start to get your hot flushes, as you're heating up from inside, Drink the ice cold water to deal with the symptoms coming from inside, so you're cooling down your inside, but then also get the ice cold towel and pop it onto your face, literally onto your face, back of your neck, and then onto the wrists, your hot points, and that will cool you down. And then this really great tip that one of you guys suggested, I hadn't even thought of it, beach towels. You're also gonna take beach towels to your picnic. You're gonna put your beach towel onto your bed and that's gonna soak up the sweat so that you're not getting your bed sheets all wet. Take as many beach towels as you need. If you have really bad sweats during the night, then take two, three, as many as you need. After all, isn't it easier to change a beach towel than it is to change your whole bed? I hope those really work for you and thank you for that great tip. One of the 
most important things in this whole menopause journey is what we eat and what we drink. Literally our diet has such an effect on the symptoms and the food that we're eating can trigger and some of the things that we're drinking unfortunately can trigger some of our symptoms. So what can you do to help you with that? Keep a journal and you're simply going to write down everything that you eat and drink but you're also going to put in how you're feeling. So your moods that day, whether you've had hot sweats, whatever it is that's happened, you know, in a sense of the menopause, you're going to pop that into the diary. Keep it for a minimum of two weeks before you start looking back at it. And then start looking back and you'll be able to track what foods or drinks you're taking that are triggering your symptoms. Trust me, it is such a game changer. It changes everything for you. It allows you to really be able to take control over some of the symptoms that you're going through. Moringue tea is brilliant. Either the moringue leaves um, or powder or the tea bags. Tip, if you're going to use moringue tea bags or the leaves, straight leaves, and you just brew them like you would brew normal tea, pop some honey in because it can be a little bit bitter. Moringue in general is a bit of an acquired taste. Turmeric, turmeric powder, turmeric tablets, turmeric tea. If you're going to do any of the above, make sure that you do it with a, uh, something that comes along with a carrier. It helps you to digest it better. Um, a lovely way to have it, turmeric tea, is with um, a little bit of turmeric powder or turmeric tea bags in some warm milk, alternative milk to soya and cow's milk, with a little bit of ginger, and if you've got a bit of a sweet tooth, tiny little bit of honey before bed, every night that's really good for helping to counteract the hot sweats the most important thing i want you to remember is we're one sisterhood we're on this journey and we're doing it together thank you so much for watching it's really appreciated let's keep the conversation going put your comments your tips your stories into the comments box below and if you liked what you saw then subscribe and come back come on back Let's keep talking.